Hi everybody, we're here at St. Anne's Golf Club here in Dublin. I'm in my swing studio and today we're going to be talking about taking a stance for 2023. And what I mean by that is how you address the ball, your posture, your balance and how that affects your movement and your contact. So I'm going to give you a basic uh, idea of how to stand to it, both with a short, mid and long club. And then that has to vary then for, with certain shots of awkward lies as well, which has a big impact on your ball position. So I'm going to give you a basic setup and show you a little bit of what also can be done with reduced mobility as well. Okay, so first rules with uh, anything to do with balance is I'm looking to fit your body into a certain shape. So your balance points are around the hip area to heel and around the shoulder area just outside the toes. Now what that will allow me to do, it gives me balance, but what it will also do is it allows my body to move and allow my weight to move if there's no restrictions in what I'm, uh, what I'm doing. And that applies from a wedge, driver, uh, fairy wood, mid irons. That sh those certain points don't change, that one nor that one. If I'm over here, I'm off balance, so it affects me, I'll start moving up and down. If I'm outside there, I'm off balance, I can't move. So there's multiple ideas of what you're trying to improve on, but it's more about taking a stance, not so much the angle of my back at the moment, more about my balance points. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a mid iron. So when I set up to it, I always let the club tell me how to stand to it. So I tilt from the hip area, bounce my knees to get my weight, what I call the middle of my feet, some people call it balls or feet. You could, and some people will look like they're in their toes if they're that way, so that's why I like talking about the middle of the feet. And then there's my balance point, hip area, shoulder area, with the shorter club. My hands hang naturally under me because of the angle of the shaft, not out here, not in here. So the clubs tell me what to do, and then that has a big impact on both ball position and angle of attack. So when I set up to it, I just bend down. I'm gonna have the ball slightly left to center for me. And then I just swing away. Lovely clean hit. And I'm keeping an eye on the fields and ball directions. Because sometimes if the ball's too far forward and I catch it a bit clean, it wants to go left. If I catch it a little bit heavy, the ball's too far forward. If I have too far back, uh, sometimes it can create different types of shots as well. So I'm gonna now go to my mid iron, do exactly the same thing. Club up in the air, bend down. Club tells me my height and my balance points. Again, hip area, shoulders. My hands are the right distance away with this mid iron. So it varies from uh, shot to shot. Happy enough with my ball position, a little bit more forward. And then that just allows me to move with balance and replicate the swing. And what you'll find is each angle of the shaft, if you were looking at it, what I mean by that up here, relates to the club that's down there. Now I'm going to a long club, do exactly the same thing. Stand up tall, get my stance wider, my feet because I want to come in shallower. Bum out, arms down, bounce my knees. Ooh, I'll go again. So bum out, arms down, bounce my knees. You'll notice my hands are further away the longer the shaft it comes. Again, it relates to the angle of the club. Balance point, hip and shoulder. And ball slightly more forward because I want to catch that. Not as steep, a little bit shallower. And then from there, just swing away. And that's it. So I've got lovely clean contact. Now, if the ball's going a little bit left or right, then I have a look at ball position. Why is it doing that? Because the way I move through the ball, helps to dictate the lowest point at impact. And that some, a lot of times can affect uh, club face position, not all the time. So if the ball's too far forward, my club face could be going left too, or, uh, too late. And if the ball's too far back, my club face could be coming in too open. So I look at all those things, it's not the same for everybody. But the biggest thing is always this area here. Hip in relation to heel, upper shoulder point in relation to toes. That's my balance point. That allows me to allow rotation and balance, which helps the movement through the ball. Just simplifies it a little bit more. Struggle a little bit with back uh, right side rotation. Very simple trick. 
right foot back a little bit and you can do other drills to exaggerate that gives you freedom to give your body a feel for getting out of the way and also to get at the ball uh, another one that i use quite a lot with uh, people with restrict mobility on the right side is what we call stack and tilt weight a little bit on your left side it feels like it but when you rotate your upper body is still over your right side you just feel the pressure there that's your axis your anchor to work off and a lot of times it allows you to fire through so it's not the same for everyone but there is certain pre uh, balance points i look at that's why i started off with this and this and then i look at how everything else works your hands your upper body rotation flexibility strength and i do change it a little bit and with certain equipment as well so this was taking a stance we're coming into 2023. My name's William Noble. I'm the PGA professional at St. Anne's Golf Club. If you want to find out what your stance is and how to build it and get ready for 2023, please contact me on www.williamnoble.ie through email or book a lesson. Speak to you then. Bye.